Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make an easy tamale pie. I know it's tamales and tamal, but for searchability purposes, we're calling it tamale pie. And it's easy because I'm going to be using Jiffy cornbread mix instead of making it from scratch. If you do have my cookbook, I do have scratch made cornbread recipe that goes with the chile con carne, the beefy cheesy goodness. Either way, it's gonna be good. And it's a meal that is in one baking dish. So good, here we go. In a preheated pan, a pound of lean ground beef. A little bit of cooking oil, I should have added that first, like two tablespoons, because I am gonna make a roux after I cook this and there's not enough fat. But if you're using 80-20, then you don't need to add cooking oil. So I'm gonna break this apart. While the ground beef is cooking, I'm gonna show you out of my cookbook, I like to make enchiladas the Tex-Mex way and the red sauce here, um, these are the ingredients I'm pretty much going to be using to make the red sauce to make my chile con carne. And if you take a look at that, screenshot it, I'll probably put it in the comment section, but that's pretty much the ratios and list of ingredients that I'm using to go into the ground beef. And here I've added all of those dry seasonings, flour, bouillon powder, it's all mixed up in here and it's going into my ground beef. Okay, going into my ground beef, I'm gonna shake in all of this seasoning spice blend with flour in the mix because it's going to create a roux and it's going to become the chile con carne saucy beefy goodness that goes into this tamale pie. And I'm gonna work this in and cook this for a couple of minutes. Two cups of water going in. You wanna work that in a little bit? scraping up any fond at the bottom of the pan. And it will start to thicken as it simmers and cooks. Going in with the rest of it. Give it a mix, let it simmer, bring it to simmer and let it thicken. And then it's done. And I'm gonna set that aside when it's done. It has thickened and it's simmering for a couple of minutes. You'll wanna shut off the heat. And you'll also wanna taste it for salt and seasoning and adjust to your preference. For the cornbread part, I'm going with an 8.5 ounce box of Jiffy cornbread mix. You can definitely make your cornbread from scratch. I just wanted to go easy today. I'm also going to add a small can of green chilies. You could do mild, medium, or spicy, or just leave it out. <laughs> I'm also gonna go with a can of corn, one large egg, you wanna make sure that it's a good egg. Good egg going in. A third cup of milk. I'm going with just a handful of cheese. Maybe eh, we'll do like three to four ounces of cheese. I had a whole block of Colby Jack cheese that I um, grated. It was an eight ounce block and Part of it goes into the cornbread, the other part I'm gonna top this with. And I'm just gonna give this a good mix. You hear my cat. <laughs> In a buttered 12 or eight by 12, this is a 2.7 quart baking dish. And eight by 12, I'm going to add all of my cornbread mixture. So you wanna spread this out And now I'm going to pour all of my chile con carne on top, right on top, and just kind of spread that out. Don't worry about covering it with more cornbread mixture. It's going to bake and get all nice. And you know what? There is a little bit left. I'll just throw that. Just do that. Okay. Now with the rest of my Colby Jack cheese going on top. Okay. Oh yes, this is done. Oh, so good, it smells wonderful. And look at that, how cute. There's a cornbread island right in the center. <laughs> so I'm going to remove this from the oven carefully before my face melts off. But yeah, this is done. Okay, so I wanna check this because typically I divide the dough in half, half on bottom, half on top. So it might need longer to cook, but I think it's done. Oh yes, oh my gosh, look at that. 
that's the cornbread. So if you do wanna divide the dough to make it like layered, you can. I just went for an easy version of this. I'm gonna let this set for about 10 to 15 minutes before diving into it. I'm gonna garnish with some chopped scallions and I have a little bit of uh, Mexican sour cream. Here we go, moment of truth. So it has set for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Longer would be better. I'm just gonna cut into this and I'm just gonna scoop it out. It's gonna slide because this is just a saucy, cheesy bake. If you want more cornbread to meat sauce ratio, then maybe double the jiffy. Here, look, I'm getting all of this. Look at that, the cornbread cooked so nicely. I'm going to do my crema. <laughs> I'm really trying to make it look like something. And then, my scallions on top. A lot of people like to do black olive, salsa, your choice. It's your world. It's your tamale pie world. We're just living in it, but that's dinner. Ooh. It's hot. Mmm. Layers of cornbread. Cheesy, beefy, saucy goodness. 